Today, we push the limits of Super Mario 3D World by trying to teach an AI how to play this game and Super Mario Odyssey and maybe other 3D Mario games also, part one. I made a really simple level in Super Mario 3D World and I want you to think about how long it would take to teach an AI how to play through this level. The first star, you can just walk over to it and get it. The second star is just a bit over the ground here. This third star with a regular jump, you can't reach it. So that actually might be pretty difficult. You could do a ground pound jump you could do a spin jump, you could jump off of the top, you can do a wall jump. There are all kinds of different ways to get it. And you'll notice that there are several steps here. Even if you're just moving around with random inputs, you might happen to stumble into some green stars on flat ground. But these steps add a massive challenge because you have to get up the steps and find the green stars. Even if you've never played this game before, you could probably quickly figure out how to collect all of these green stars. No matter how you do it, you're definitely better off than our first AI. This this one is so bad, I'm going to call it level negative one because it doesn't even deserve to be called level zero. It's just completely random inputs. You just inch along and after about half an hour, Mario has collected only one star. One step up from that, we will call this level zero AI. I programmed the movements to be a bit smoother, but there is no objective, no purpose. Sometimes you walk right by the green star, but eventually you might just stumble into one of them. And here's some live commentary. Got it! First one! Unbelievable! That one's really high though, I'm curious if he's going to be able to get that one. That one might actually be the hardest one to get, that really high one up there. Wait, I thought that he would just wall jump and get it right after I said that, that'd be unbelievable. Come on, you ran right under it! After a few minutes of randomly wandering around and almost getting another star, Mario can even stumble into the second green star by happening to jump into it by chance. There were some moments that I was hopeful that Mario might jump up into this green star with a ground pound jump or that he would get it with a wall jump and sometimes he even starts to climb up these stairs and get onto the top floor. But this Mario is wandering aimlessly and his problem is that he has no objective and he has no rewards for doing the right thing. After half an hour of this, Mario has only two stars. Still better than the previous AI, but not enough green stars, we need more. So, for our next level AI, we need to program it to be rewarded for exploring. You can picture it like this. Imagine that there are coins all throughout the level like this. As Mario collects coins, that rewards the AI and tells it that it is doing a good job. Once it collects a coin in a certain spot, it knows that there isn't going to be a coin there again, so it has to keep searching for more. When we start this up, right from the start, it actually looks kind of promising. It almost looks like Mario was intentionally searching and looking for different areas, and this this was my live reaction to this. Whoa, a wall jump that early on? That's crazy. I almost thought that we'd get that green star there. Come on, come on. You could get it, Mario. You could get it. Come on. Wow, look at that. We're doing rolls. This is crazy. Come on, come on, you're right under it. Jump, jump, please jump, yes! Oh man, that's so funny. I was just really hoping he'd jump there. So that's so funny that, oh my goodness, there's another green star collected back to back so quickly. There's one problem though. For whatever reason, after that strong performance at the start, Mario just kept wanting to go into this corner. Mario realizes that there is an unexplored area here, so he keeps wanting to go to that, even though it's impossible because he can't go past this invisible wall. And he just won't give up because it's it's just the perfect spot for him to go to and explore another unexplored area and get more points. There's just a reward waiting for him on the other side of that invisible wall. So here's AI level two. I made two changes here. There is a slightly higher punishment for revisiting old squares that you've already been to. Also, the AI knows what Mario's coordinates are in the game, so it knows his X, Y, and Z position. And if a certain button press doesn't change your coordinates very much, if you keep staying in the same spot after you press certain buttons, then the AI is discouraged from pressing that button for a moment, so that should help Mario get out of the corners. And here's my live reaction to what happened when we started this up. Oh my goodness, I thought that we'd get the final green star right away, right at the start. And there's a slightly bigger punishment for staying in the same spot. Whoa, that's crazy! We actually saw a dive! 
He actually tried doing a dive into an invisible wall. I don't know if we've seen a dive yet. Come on, come on, you can get the green star. Come on, you can explore. Look at that jump! Who does jumps like that? Does anyone do jumps when they play this game? I think my sister does, actually. I don't do that when I play this game. Come on, come on, you're so close, you're so close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Look at this! Oh, that's the first time that any of our eight- Oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe it! Both of those haven't been collected first. It's like this AI is trying to flex on us that it could get both of those stars, but it can't get these. There were some moments where it got really close to the first green star, but it took a while before it got a third green star. Actually, unbelievable. It's about, oh, I was gonna say, it's about to get another one. Look at that, come on, you gotta go explore that. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, it's like it was walking right towards it, then it turned away. Nice! It looks like level 2 AI was good, but after 10 minutes, Mario didn't get any more green stars than this. Level 3 AI. This one had a promising start. Within the first minute or so, it already collected two green stars, and it was able to climb back up to the top level, which was nice. Up until this point, none of our AI Marios were able to collect green star number five, the one at the very top. So this was actually the first AI Mario that was able to go up there and collect that green star. Oh my goodness, this might be the first one to get all of them. This made me hopeful that we might actually get all of the green stars. After about 12 minutes, Mario got green star number two, so that means that only one green star was missing. Even with something as basic as this, we were able to get four green stars that quickly. I guess it isn't that quickly, because a human could do it a lot faster than this still. But after half an hour, Mario wasn't able to collect the final green star that is up high like this. That is a hard one to get to. To. Level 4 AI. You've got to see my live reaction to this because this really surprised me when I first saw it. Okay, nice, 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 nice! That's so fast! We haven't gotten two stars that quickly yet. That was really incredible. Oh boy, how good is this gonna go? Oh, that was so close! If he wall jumped a second sooner, he would have reached that green star. That's unbelievable. Come on, you can do it. Ground pound jump! Oh, man! What? 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 I, I actually took off my headphones after seeing that. I didn't know that you could do a jump like that. You know how they say that AI comes up with new strategies? How in the world was that wall jump even possible? How did it get up like that? I don't know if I'd be able to replicate that, and I've been playing this game for years. I think we finally created a good AI. It took a lot of work and a lot of fine tuning over here. Or are we just going to keep jumping against the wall here? I hope we don't. Hopefully we go and continue through the level. Hopefully we learn that we could climb up there to the left. Okay, so I was pretty excited there, but when I was editing this video, I actually realized that I think Mario just did a wall jump and held up on the joystick so that he was able to get boosted up like this onto this platform in some weird way because of the invisible wall to this side here. Maybe that pushed him up in some way. So maybe this wasn't so crazy after all. Level 5 AI. I'm really happy with how this is going so far, and sometimes we get really lucky at the start when we run these programs, but what I still need to fix is I need to get Mario to keep searching an area near the center for the green star if he can't find the green stars right away, because he just keeps wanting to go to the corners, even if I add that punishment. As you know, Mario gets a punishment if he visits a square that he has already been to, but when he goes to a corner, he just sees that there are all these areas that he hasn't been to yet, and he knows that there's a lot of reward there. So even though there's a big punishment, he keeps wanting to go to that. Anyways, this was an amazingly fast start, though. You have to check this out. Nice. Oh, so close. What? Four green stars in a minute and a half? That's unbelievable. If you want something that can just collect all of the green stars more reliably, you can make a boring algorithm that goes step by step and checks every single spot for a green star. But I thought it'd be more fun to see what emerges from the chaos so that we could capture and observe the unexpected, so that we could see how far we can take a problem with self-imposed limitations. There are so many ways that you can work on a project like this, and I'm working on a lot more. I can't wait to share it. And if you made it this far into the video, 
then you probably appreciate the technical side of gaming and experiments like this, and you might like my video where I see what happens if you add a bunch of clones of Mario into Super Mario Odyssey. I really hope you can check out that video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.